Heavy Metal Horns coming out to you. Christian Heavy Metal Horns to you. Because we're doing this for David today. Today we're doing the band Vengeance Rising. Uh, and I'm pretty sure that they're a Christian metal band and we're going to be doing the song White Throne today. Uh, and uh, so we're going to learn about this band then we're going to listen to the song White Throne from Vengeance Rising. So if you're ready, I'm ready to do this as well. Let's get into it and see what we've got here. Vengeance Rising, they have 3,622 monthly listeners to the Spotify account. Top five jams, the top three come from that record right there. Um, I'm pretty sure this Human Sacrifice is the, yeah, it's got the hand going through the, with, the, with the nail and the stuff. I hope that someone didn't snap that photo. That's a real Jesus there. Um, but it is from the Human Sacrifice record. Um, uh, then you've got uh, in the four slot, Before the Time, that's got 23,000. Well, let's get back here. Human Sacrifice, right, number one. That's got 97,000. I'm all over the place today, guys. I'm all over the place. Allergies are just angering me today. Uh, Mulligan Stew. That's got 55,000 plays. And Burn. Those three tracks come from that record right there. Moving on to track four. That comes from a different record. Before the Time. 23,000 plays. And in the fifth slot, Warfare. And that's got 30,000 plays. Now we're going to get into them albums and see what this band has released in their illustrious careers. And it looks like 1988's Human Sacrifice, that's a record we're going to for White Throne today. And then you got 1990, Once Dead. These have all been remastered, by the way. Uh, 1991, Destruction Comes, and Released Upon the Earth, 1992. So it looks like 1988 to 92, and then they were out of there. Are they around in some form or fashion? Could you get in the comments below and tell me? How are they doing? What are they doing? Where are they at? Why are they not rocking again? Unless they are rocking. Uh, now we're going to get into those related artists. And this will give us an idea of some of the other Christian metal artists. And I bet you there's a gaggle of them we've done on this channel here. Uh, Seventh Angel. Someone was hitting me up about Seventh Angel. Said you got to do something. But it's very hard to find video footage of those guys. Uh, Deliverance. We have done them on the first listens. Uh, Believer. I believe we have not done them. Eternal Decision, no. Tourniquet, yes, we have done them on the first listens. Mortification, extreme Christian metal, we have done them on the first listens. Deuteronomium, oh, Deuteronomium, Deuteronomium, we have done them on the first listens. Uh, Baron Cross, we have listened, we've done them on the first listens and reaction videos to Baron Cross. Uh, Crimson Moonlight, we have not done. The Crucified, no. Blood Good, yes. We have done Blood Good on the uh, reaction side of the channel and the first listens. Uh, and Antes Ant Antestor. Antestor. So there you have that. That's the related artist for Vengeance Rising. Now we're going to get into that bio and see what they're all about. There is no image of the band, so I will hunt down a bio or a, an image. It'll be a, some saucy folks, and they'll be standing there. They'll say, we're, we're, we're rocking, we're heavy metal, Shane. We're kicking ass for the, for the Lord. Don't you see we used his, his hand with the nail in it for our first record? We're damn serious, Shane, so shut up. Vengeance Rising has one of the most entertaining and bizarre stories, oh, this is great, in the realm of heavy metal. Well, tell me. Formed in 1987 by singer Roger Martinez, guitarist Larry Farks, and Doug Thame, bassist Roger Dale Martin, and drummer Glenn Manacaruso, the band was a Christian variation on the emerging death metal scene. The lineup produced two albums that were huge successes in the world of Christian music, making them one of the, one of the few bands in the genre to cross over into the secular music scene. Okay. They played both religious and non-religious festivals and tried to spread their message as far as possible. Martinez became very involved in the lifestyle, producing videotapes about Christianity and forming alliances with other big-name Christian leaders. Unfortunately, when they checked their bank account after, once dead, after the Once Dead tour, they discovered that they had mismanaged their funds and were hopelessly in debt. Everyone but Martinez bailed and formed Die Happy. And this, okay, so I think I've heard of that band. And he scrambled to form another lineup. He found drummer Chris Hyde and guitarist Derek Sean and continued forward with himself on bass. Despite releasing two more albums, 
and selling a respectable amount of copies, he was nowhere near to clearing his financial woes and the band fell apart in the 90s. Struggling with his faith and the strain of his situation, he vehemently broke from the religious environment he had surrounded himself with and began the second half of his career by announcing his atheism. Boy, this feller. Uh, he began to make tapes counteracting the tapes that he made during the Christian career and reformed Vengeance Rising with a new lineup and a decidedly angrier message. He formed a website that renounced his previous output and posted articles about Christian leaders that were aimed at making them look foolish. Wow, this just keeps going on and on. It's like, uh, it's like one of them uh, uh, Joan Collins books or something. My heavens. All right, so for our buddy David, we're doing this right here, right now. We're going to go down to that human sacrifice record. This is when they were in a band lovingly Christian. That's on this. It's their first record here. And we're going to go to White Throne. And we're going to listen to that right here, right now. Very first time. This is the magic tool. Earwig takes us into the world. I put it in my ear, but first I give you a little taste. And we listen to the song White Throne. Sound good? Here we go. Anyone ever wrote a song called Black Throne? Besides the band, Black Throne? Guess that was a silly question, right? Yeah, there's a band called. Oh, that's Dark Throne, not Black Throne. Almost sounds like the Exorcist theme. Instead of a big ending, they give you a big beginning. Wow, his voice is very interesting. Very punky. Thrashy punky. White throat. Now's the time to die. Nowhere? I said nowhere. That's nice. Very interesting voice. It's like that cookie monster. Or like a Gonzo or something. Bang, bang. Yes, this guy. Wow. Salvation. He has a very interesting voice. I'm going to have to go listen to that. He sounds like uh, Gonzo from 
I mean, he sounds like that sounds like a character from from uh, Sesame Streets, doesn't it? Uh, he very um, sporadic sounding voice, uh, very very original sounding. Uh, the music was pretty nice and tight, sounded pretty good, uh, nice uh, 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 sound quality, and it was had that nice kind of skate punky meets uh, 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 thrash metal kind of a vibe to it. But what say you? Most important part of my videos as always is where you get in the comments below and tell me exactly what you think of the songs. I'm not the boss, okay? So you tell me your opinions and your thoughts and opinions on the songs that we do here. Vengeance Rising, White Throne, good, great, fantastic Shane. I am a huge fan of this band, including when he is a loving Christian and when he is an atheist. I love the entire catalog of music this guy's done. I even watched his videos on Christianity, and then I watched his videos on uh, denouncing it. Um, and uh, I, I, th I think he's got the greatest voice in the, in the history of all of rock and roll bands. That's, I'm sorry, Shane, but that's just the way I feel about it. All-time favorite album, all-time favorite songs. Is there something else we should check out? Now I really want to see some video of these guys. They got any video out there? Uh, all-time favorite stuff. Have you ever seen them live? I'd, be, I'd love to, to hear from someone that's seen them back in the 80s, 90s. Um, or you could say, not good, not great, Shane. I'm just not, that was not good. That was not good to my ears. And my ears are the only ones that matter, Shane, because it went into my ears and I said caca poo poo to that. So that doesn't matter what anyone else says because it's not my cup of tea. I don't want it. I don't need it. Never going to listen to that again. All of that can be put in the comments below. Don't you know you find it fantastic freaks out there? If you have the hard rock or the heavy metal or the Christian metal uh, uh, request, you'd like to see it on this channel, it's a very simple and easy thing to do. Click one of them links in the description below. We'll get it on for you in your honor with thumbsy upsies to you. Or you can always put it in the comments. If you put it in the comments, I see it. I like it. We haven't done it on the channel. I'll hit it with a heart and tell you I'm going to do your request for you, okay? It's as simple as that. It really, really is. Uh, you guys are my blessing. Each and every one of you watching this video and hearing my words right now, I send you the greatest and most positive vibes that I can deliver to you. And I wish you all the best for today, tomorrow, and eternity. That's all I got. Vengeance Rising. David? Mm.